Hi, Pinkies. It's me, Kita. Just wanted to give a shout out to all those who are running for office. Um, just finished voting. It's 7.48 p.m. on Super Tuesday, March 3rd. And I was inspired to vote today because I, really I wasn't going to vote. Um, I haven't voted in the last three elections. And um, with the conversation that I had with um, affirmed uh, Supreme Court Justice Kathy Chang on our last show, she inspired me to do my duty. And I want to say thank you, Kathy. I know you have won this race. I applaud you. Um, great things are to come. I know I, I should expect great things from you. So thank you for your inspiration. Thank you for your encouragement. And I just wanted to say that upon me arriving, because one, I didn't know who I was gonna vote for, because I didn't know why. So there were a lot of people running, a lot of people who looked like me. These people right here. Can you see that? I dropped them all. I dropped them all. So these people right here, they look like me. So of course I'm gonna say, yeah, that I want you to hold the office because I I know or I assume that you're gonna be looking for the same things that I'm looking for in growing our community. So a lot of people stand for different things and a lot of people's views on their little flyers are really broad and um, it doesn't say specifically what they're going to do if they uh, win office. So my job now, um, after today, once I know who has won the offices in my district, in my county, then it's my duty to ensure that they do what's required, what's fair for everybody. And they had a lot of propositions uh, there was Proposition 8, Proposition 9, 7, and they, the question was posed like, do you think people should have the right to these things? Um, just, um, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember. Questions like, do you think people should be free from discrimination? Do you think people should have uh, accessible or affordable health care? Do you think people or immigrants should be um, given or should it be immigrant uh, reform and I'm gonna say yes to everything because that's really what I did I said yes but I know those propositions come with a cost now the cost is what I don't know but I know it's gonna cost because <laughs> uh, there has to be money available to create these programs so what it's gonna cost me I don't know so if everything that I said yes to wins um, then I got to figure out if the benefit is greater than the cost. So I know it's going to be taxes that's going to be imposed or that's going to be um, expected to be paid by us citizens if we want these things to um, be given to everyone in the, our community. So there's work to do and I worked so hard already and I just <laughs> I just got to figure out how I'm going to ensure that this life that I've given my children will be in their best interest. So I voted today on Super Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. And we shall see what the outcome is going to be. Pinkies, I need help from y'all. I need to make sure that you voted. Make sure that you are keeping up with. Say hey, say hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Those are voters too. So we stayed out all night just to vote. And I need to make sure that all of us are being are held responsible. Me as a voter, I've done my duty. Now I got other tasks to do to ensure that you do your duty. 
uh, elected officials. And we shall see what these at least two years are going to come out to be. Um, so in the coming shows, I want y'all to, to give me your opinion because politics is a difficult thing to follow. People say things, people try to confuse you, and they don't hold up their end of the bargain. And that's why I find it so hard to, you know, elect people or to trust people in these offices. But I got to. I got to do it for my children. So shout out to all of y'all that voted. I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. It's Kita with Talking Pink. Go subscribe. We're on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Ooh, my mouth is juicy. And go to uh, TalkingPink.com. Go to our website. And 